Hello. The beginning <laughs> of a new adventure. We just arrived in Kuching, Sarawak, Borneo, the third largest island in the world, a bucket list destination for both of us for quite literally our entire lives. And wow, we're very, very happy to be here and we are ready for a new adventure in a new place. We're still in Malaysia, but this time we're in Borneo. Let's go and check this place out. I can't wait. We got very lucky with our accommodation. We are directly on the Kuching waterfront. And because of that reason, I think the only option for us to kickstart today exploring around here is to take a river cruise on the Sarawak River. Let's go and see what we can find along here and see what we can see along the Sarawak River. Stop raining. <laughs> Finally <laughs> stop raining. <laughs> we were waiting for the rain to stop. Yes. Can we do private? Yes. One hour? Yes. Okay. We pay you or we pay? Ah, uh, yeah, pay me. You okay. pay you? I give the tour. Uh. <laughs> oh, you give the tour, nice. nice. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Iban or Oran Ulu? Yeah. This one Ora, is Iban? Iban, Iban boat. Iban, Iban boat? Yes. Okay. Careful now, don't slip. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be some... It's going to be pretty slippery. Good luck fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> We definitely didn't get uh, lucky today with the weather. It's kind of patchy cloudy. It was raining there for a few minutes. We had to like actually take some shelter away from the rain just before we came here to do this boat trip. But wow, very, very excited. Have a look at this boat. Yeah. So this is an Iban or Iban. Inter international bank account number boat. It's an Iban boat and uh, <laughs> I feel like this is our new favorite way to explore. We sort of started it in Melaka. Yeah. Oh, no, we started it actually in Bangkok. We did it in Bangkok once <laughs> and uh, this one is going to be very interesting and uh, yeah, I cannot wait to actually see what yeah. this is like. It's, um, if you want a private tour, it's 30 ringgit per person per 30 hour. 30 ringgit per person, yeah. You go in in the front? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In front. And this is our captain make our way on board here wow very excited to be here this is the sarawak river and here we have a government building <laughs> okay we made it oh wait i don't know where the best view is gonna be this is like a boat for like 30 people yeah it's just the two of us and we paid 12 euro for an hour of a tour so yeah doesn't get any better than this. Very affordable and I think that this is definitely going to be the most convenient way I guess of exploring along the riverside. It is hot and humid and like I said pretty wet today. Pretty unpredictable. <laughs> Can we sit with you or here? Yeah. Ooh. Thank you. Makes it comfy. Yeah. Now it's for the... Summer, summer. Hello! Hello! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> this also Iban boat? Or? Uh, yes, Iban boat. This is a Malay boat. Oh. Uh, typical Sarawak, huh? Sarawak Iban? Yes. Wow. I read online a little bit before, as always. Uh, I do a little bit of research, but not too much. So I don't have expectations. And I can still be surprised. But enough to know what's going on. <laughs> We'll see you. Hiya. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Roger. Puyo. Puyo. Puyo is the good one. Puyo is, Puyo is the positive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're all ready to explore Sarawak River. We're just going past the sprinkler system here. We went to, uh, we literally just arrived yesterday here and we went to a water show uh, that happens, believe it or not, every night here on the Kuching waterfront. Very, very spectacular. And it sort of gives you a rundown on a little bit of the history of Sarawak. Very beautiful. I think it happens 
every night at around 8.30 p.m. And then there's a second show as well, uh, like an hour or so after. And the show lasts for like 15 minutes. And right now we're going under this beautiful bridge. This bridge is absolutely gorgeous, very uniquely constructed. The whole of Kuching actually is very, very incredible, beautiful, gorgeous architecture. There's a really nice looking mosque just here now in front of us as well. We've seen actually quite a few beautiful mosques around here on our walk last night. And hopefully we can show you guys around here um, as comfortably as possible today. And I think this is the best hopping here onto a riverboat an Iban riverboat this is so cool and uh, yeah I don't know I don't know what's living in this river but I'm sure there's some pretty crazy creatures living in this river below us Malay village you come by boat or car traditional side of Kuching because obviously we are in the in the city center which is like sort of some uh, historical buildings but also some very modern buildings and it would be very cool to actually see how the locals live here um, because I feel like so far obviously we arrived yesterday but so far we didn't really get in touch so much with the locals and it would be very nice to actually visit them and see maybe we can make some friends in the village <laughs> ran over some uh, some uh, rubbish in the river and actually all over the river here around Kuching you have a lot of these like garbage stops where I feel like they're stopping the garbage from going further into the ocean and uh, they're collecting it I guess <laughs> every now and then but obviously sometimes you do have some garbage and as you can see it's causing a lot of troubles for um, the locals that are going around on their boats and uh, yeah if you can Please don't throw your garbage in the river, <laughs> I want to say. So things have definitely taken a turn for the worse, I guess you could say. We're only around 10 minutes in and a what looks like a large gas gasoline container with a string attached to it has gotten caught in the propeller and literally wrapped itself around the propeller, causing us to come to a dead stop and we're literally just <laughs> floating at the will of the Sarawak River right now so not looking too good um, he did call the person that is in charge and I think somebody is on their way to maybe pull us out of the water <laughs> but uh, we will keep you guys updated for for now we are literally just floating with the current of the river at least the current here is very very light and soft so we're not going down the river fast or anything like that it's really i want i want to say the close to stagnant so we're not we're just sort of moving left and right but we're not going that way <laughs> at least so far so let's just pray it stays this way and uh, i really hope that the engine is okay because obviously it's uh, rosley's income way of mode of providing for his family i assume so uh, yeah i do hope that the engine is okay okay so oh oh it's broke no. it's gone yes it's gone yes oh no the propeller actually broke broke off because of the rope that was attached around these pieces of plastic now rosley handed me a switch blade like a kind of like a swiss army blade and I was able to cut free the rope, which freed up the propeller, thankfully. But we have to now pr replace the, repel the propeller. So this is a whole other issue now. How do you replace it? <laughs> DIY job. Firstly DIY. Yeah, Mr. DIY. So the situation right now is that we're getting 
going more and more into this wall. I was just pedaling the entire time to try and get away, but the current, unfortunately, of the river keeps pushing us into the wall and we are sort of trying to get away from it. Uh, I give the pedal to Luke. How does he do it? What is he doing differently than we do? We're amateurs, that's why. Oh. You have to be... But my surname is Sailor, I should know. Ah, I understand. And now I understand. He has the blade going like this. Pointed facing away from the wall. We were sort of pedaling like this to go forward. Okay. Going away from the wall. Thank God Rosalie knows his... Knows what he's doing. Because the two of us, certainly we don't know what we're doing at all. I have a sailing license, uh, like a catamaran license, but uh, that's about it. So yeah, we're not very knowledgeable when it comes to rowing and rivers in Borneo. <laughs> you can see the whole reason why we came into this issue, why we're facing this issue. There's all of the plastic garbage that is causing local people here to be struggling quite a bit, but I do think, oh, maybe we try and Looks like we're try gonna try and stop here. Is okay? Oh, I think Rosalie is gonna abandon us. Don't leave us behind! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna abandon this boat. Yeah, but you're not gonna get out of here. How are you gonna get to the w land? Pull ourselves up the walls. Yeah, right. I would like to see that happening. The wall is, I don't know. I wanna say the wall is about three meters. If we were over there, we could maybe get out with the pier and everything, but uh, yeah, like this, difficult. Well, at least we have an experience. Stranded in Sarawak River. Is he going in the water? <gasps> Don't go in the water, Rosalie. Ah, he's trying to put the propeller. Oh God. Rosalie, be careful! Yeah, 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 yeah. Careful! <laughs> what the hell is going on? He's trying to put the propeller because yeah, now I he's standing. but he's literally under the boat. Maybe it's easier this way. <sighs> Not good. Rosalie's friend is coming, thank God. I, as far as I understood, he's from the Orang Uzlu. Uh, right? I don't know where he's from, but I'm very glad that he's here. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Save us! Save Save us. us. <laughs> Poor Rosalie as well, he went under the boat and I, I think he's now completely drenched, absolutely wet. So uh, he also has a heart condition. So the poor man... I don't know, I wish we could help, but we are not knowledgeable about the engines of the boat. So at least he's having a laugh. <laughs> you can hear him laugh. He's even older. This guy's even older than Rosalie. I don't know how he's gonna help. It's a retiree boating club. Yeah, literally. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Orang Ulu. Orang Ulu, I said it incorrect. I said Orang Uzlu. It's Orang Ulu. Ulu. That's what it says on the side, right? Hiya! Hiya. Orang Ulu. Oh, Rosalie is coming Rosalie back is out. Rosalie is not having a good day. Masok ai, Rosalie is not masok ai. But what is going to happen with the boat now? With this uh, boat? I think we're going to swap boats. And then yeah, but what is happening with Rosalie? No I don't want to leave him behind. <laughs> <laughs> now we're trying to swap boats. And, uh, yeah, but what is happening? I don't know. I don't, know what's I don't want to leave him behind. Yep. Poor man in the direct sun with a heart. Oh, I think he's gonna drag us. Oh, we're gonna go back. Yeah, don't go back. Don't Yeah, go back. Go back. Yeah. Nice one, Rosalie. Yeah, yeah. So sorry, you're so wet now. Uh, no. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. 
<laughs> Tomorrow better day. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so fast. <laughs> What is friend name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, his name is Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Yeah. <laughs> We're nearly back home. Looks like we've made our way back to where we started in the first place, basically. So, uh, have to be grateful that we're okay and Rosley is okay as well. He basically was submerged under the boat at one point, trying to fix it when this guy thankfully came along, as you guys saw. Now we're gonna get back onto dry land. I'm gonna kiss the floor, I think. Gonna and, have some uh, kolokmi. And then we're gonna have some kolokmi, I think. Yeah. Go and explore a bit of Chinatown and try and improve this weird situation. <laughs> Very strange start to our Borneo exploration, I think. But we survived. As we always do. Yeah. Phone is ringing. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Survive. Survive. Hey. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, yeah. I am sorry. Don't worry. You yeah. don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> I want to give this uh, oh, the ringer just to say thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Sorry, thank, you so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Terima kasih. <laughs> Jumpa lagi. <laughs> thank okay. you. Thank you. Eh? Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye, bye bye. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Terima kasih. Bye sorry, bye. Ya. Sorry. sorry. No worry. Bye bye. Ah, okay. oh, we're back on land. You said you wanted to kiss the floor. Oh, this is not dry land. Hold on. This is not dry land. No, you need this to wait. Bridge. No. <laughs> Did you actually kiss it? No. You can brush your teeth now. Yeah. <laughs> Look, as always, okay. dramatic. Bye. Terima kasih, bye bye. As always, we're very dramatic. Anyway, we didn't have any breakfast yet, so <laughs> onto the Kolomi we go. <laughs> Woo All right, so we made our way to Chinatown, which is very close to the Kuching waterfront. We haven't walked very far at all. Just have a look here behind me. Beautiful artwork. Very common theme from what I'm seeing here in Kuching. A lot of interesting artwork and graffiti all over the city of Kuching. And by the way, Kuching in Malay translates, I believe, to cat. And um, you can see that here. There's a lot of cats around Kuching. We made our way now into what it seems like a big market. This is very random, very interesting, and I'm sure we're gonna find some sort of food, whether that's kolomi or Sarawak laksa or something in that general direction, but we are absolutely starving now. And this part of Chinatown seems to be very, very convenient because you have a little bit of a roof going on so no matter if it's raining or if there is too much sun if it's too hot I do think that uh, this place is very very convenient to come to uh, we're very happy to be out of the sun and out of the heat but to be honest it looks like it's about to <laughs> start raining again so yeah I think today the luck is not on our side but that's okay not every day has to be a perfect day we're just hungry so now we're trying to figure out where there is the food in this place here. I can I can only see jerseys and handbags so far. This has been a very exhausting day, I'm not gonna lie, but we managed to walk around Chinatown and we made our way actually, funnily enough, into a place that is uh, very similar to India. So there's a lot of guys that are selling um, spices and stuff like that. Did you make they're selling spices and um, stuff like that and there's a lot of actual Indians that are selling them um, very interestingly enough but we made our way into like a little bit of a local spot that's actually looking onto the Sarawak River where we were stranded not that long ago and we found this spot that sells mi kolok or kolok mi um, they have a whole whole bunch of different dishes like mi goreng um, and a bunch of great like laksa style dishes too and we're gonna try we're gonna try for the very first time here some kolomi here 
in Kuching. Sarawak dish in Sarawak. What more can you ask for? And both of us are absolutely starving right now. Very good tea ice, uh, exactly what we need after <laughs> the river experience. And um, most of the dishes here in this spot run somewhere in between five and 10 ringgit from what I could see. So in between one and two euro. And I'm very, very excited to actually try some because there seem to be only locals here. So I'm very, very curious to see if this is gonna be like too spicy for us probably it's gonna be way too spicy i'm not sure um yeah and what it's gonna taste like because obviously we didn't try any sarawaki food so far and this is gonna be our very very first experience i'm very excited for it and i'm sure lucas as well the tea ice is amazing it's really tasty and it definitely is helping us cool down after uh being out in the sun for quite some time first time ever trying Kolomi and it's right here in Kuching Sarawak after a very stressful day I must admit this looks very interesting so he said that they have a beef version and they also have a chicken version of the Kolomi now we decided to get one chicken and one beef I went with the beef Naomi went with the chicken so I think first what I'm gonna do is try the noodles out they look very very nice I have absolutely no idea as to what sort of flavor I am expecting here but I'm just gonna take them like this and give it a try and give you guys my first impression mm. Mm. that's very good interesting flavor I must admit the noodles are literally cooked to perfection. They're not very chewy. They're more on the soft side. In terms of the actual flavor of the noodles, it's almost like a little bit more on the sweet side than it is on the spicy side. It's not spicy at all. I'm gonna try just a little piece of this beef here. It comes with beef. Very good as well. And they also, served it to us with a bowl of soup now i'm assuming that that is with it if you want to add some moisture maybe some thickness to the dish you can kind of just pour it in on top of everything and mix it all together but then um, the noodles are very 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 good quality very tasty i genuinely have no idea how to even really accurately describe what the flavor is like though it's basically like a sweet slash slightly sour noodle with beef and we have some chopped greens on top and then we also have this soup here as well oh there's plenty of there's plenty of flavor inside this so i think i'm definitely going to be pouring a little bit of this over my noodles just to add a little bit more an extra kick of flavor in there but this first impressions so far very very good we also have this little thing here which I have no idea what exactly it is but I'm gonna give it a try just for you just to give you guys a little bit of a, a pour like a little there you go little piece I think it it is something to do with sambal which usually means spice and it's a very very dark color so let's see what happens I think it's soy sauce, no? That's very interesting. It tastes, it does taste like soy sauce, but it's like a fishy version of a soy sauce. I thought it was like a reduced sort of soy sauce with fish sauce in there, like a different type of sauces, but reduced. Yep. Like over heat. Yeah, that's what it seems like. It seems like a reduced, yeah, soy sauce <laughs> with a fishy, fishy flavor to it. Very interesting. Nothing that I've ever tasted before, but it goes exceptionally well with the noodles on this dish. So. For me, call on me first impressions. This is very, very positive. I like it. Very good. I'm going to be finishing this. Strawberry rainbow. <coughs> rainbow um, is toffee and caramel. <laughs> <laughs> the iced tea with peppermint, please. Uh, iced tea with peppermint. Cola? Cola, uh, vanilla? I'll have vanilla. <laughs> yeah. Normandy is vanilla. <laughs> Standard choice. Yep. Do it the original way. So, 
we had our Kolomi devoured both of them. Both both are actually very good, very interesting, not spicy at, at all, which um, is new for us since we came to Malaysia. We're used to having dishes that are very challenging spicy-wise. Hold on a second, my face is very bright. Okay, here we go. Starting to look more like a human now. Not spicy at all, very interesting. Incredibly tasty, something very different. We know that there's plenty more for us to try here in Sarawak. And we're gonna be here in Kuching for about a week, and then we're gonna make our way east. But we're gonna be in Borneo for quite some time. We have so many more videos coming your way. And now we are getting ourselves ice cream floats. If this is not gonna make this day better, then I don't know what will. Uh, I got a iced tea one with a peppermint ice cream and Luke went with the OG of ice cream floats, which is a Coca-Cola and a vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Uh, if you wanna hold yours, just gonna give my ice cream float a try. This is perfect. <laughs> this is perfection. Super nice. Very refreshing. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Funny looking vehicle. <laughs> This is perfection, obviously a lot of sugar with the tea in there, some caffeine and uh, it's a little bit of a pick me, pick us up, pick me yeah. up I want to say because we're both feeling a little bit under the weather but I think yeah tomorrow is a new day for exploring around. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I'm gonna give my vanilla coke float a try, it doesn't get any more American I think than this. Oh, that's very good, very refreshing, nice and cold. I think we're gonna take a seat. We're gonna watch boats float by, <laughs> unlike what we managed to achieve. Hopefully um, not to stop by. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully we don't see more boats getting caught in the river. But uh, I think today overall wasn't a negative experience. It was more <coughs> just of an experience that uh, it's gonna stay in our minds for a very, very long time. It's something that we are probably never going to forget. And it is definitely a lesson, I think, don't throw stuff into water because it very, very, is very, very, very damaging for a lot of things. Not only the fish and the life that live in the water, but the life that lives above the water. Like this guy, Rosli, his boat is now more than likely under repairs. He's probably going to be out of work for a few days. He probably is in a very bad situation and that is just very very heavy on our hearts yeah. definitely not something that we wanted to go through um, luckily we managed to cut free the stuff that was wrapped around the propeller but now he has to basically replace the propeller um, so hopefully that goes well hopefully he can get his boat back on the water maybe by yeah. tomorrow if he if he if he uh, gets some help back at his village or wherever he's staying yeah guys we're keep gonna... the rivers clean keep the oceans clean I think we're gonna keep an eye out for Rosalie in the next few days and if we do see him again to be honest I would do this boat tour again like if if I will see or if we will see Rosalie again I'm pretty sure we're gonna approach him and ask him to take us down the river uh, another time a second time basically and uh, if you do come here make sure to support Rosalie and all of his colleagues uh, it's not his fault like it's it's not 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 his fault that the boat crashed or that the plastic went into the engine and so on um, just try to keep our waters clean no matter where you are even if you are in Europe or wherever it's one big ocean the garbage is gonna float somewhere eventually and it's usually uh, going to affect the people who need it the least in life yeah yeah it's very very true but um, yeah for now guys my name is Luke <laughs> my name is Naomi <laughs> we're the two mad explorers <laughs> and this is your reminder to keep exploring see you guys in the next Borneo adventure Terima kasih for watching Terima kasih. bye bye, bye. bye.